a nice lady in New York um, donated $20 for me to get the things I would need for this puppy until I can find him a home, which hopefully will be soon. She gave me $20, so I'm going to get him some chew bones at the Dollar Tree, trying to make it stretch out a little bit. I'm going to get him his food at a better place, a better quality food. This type here is pretty dangerous. They soften up and they unwind and the dog can actually chew a small piece of it off and it can get twisted up in his intestines. So I don't, I don't get those. These are a little bit better because they're not spiraled like that. They're wrapped one solid sheet. We're gonna get dog food now. Better dog food than what the Dollar Tree had. Puppy food, not dog food. Puppy food. And this puppy's big, so I should probably get a good size bag. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Can you hear that song? Dance! Okay, so puppy food. Puppy. Puppy? I'm so confused. There's too many options. I'm way confused here. They got little bags of puppy food. Where's the big bags of puppy food? This is a big puppy. Help me find the slightly larger bags of puppy food. All I can find is the little teeny bags. Yeah, that one. That's not puppy. That's regular dog. Just get one of them. That's a big fucking puppy. That big. Puppy chow it is. Now I gotta decide which one. Healthy morsels or complete. I guess healthy morsels. 4.4 pounds. Same, 4.4 pounds. Okay. I'm doing a video here. What's wrong with them? Oh. Is it all you wanted, Jack? You wanted a ride? You stay there, okay? Yeah, he's happy now. That was all drama because he couldn't sit where he should have been anyway. Hey, everybody. Thanks to a kind woman that saw my video that I posted on one of the many rescue sites on uh, the groups on Facebook, she contacted me and asked would $20, well, she asked me if $10 would help uh, with the puppy for food and whatever, and I was like, absolutely. I did not expect that. I was so shocked that anybody thought about the extra expenditures of having a not a dog you normally don't have in the house um but she ended up sending me twenty dollars i really appreciate it so much that she did that for me from new york um but i got the puppy what it needed um if i have the puppy for longer than what i planned as long as i've got food for the puppy i've got time and i've got energy for it and i've got space uh i just don't have finances for it but um as long as I've got what I need for the puppy, I will keep it, I'll keep it for about a week, maybe two weeks. This puppy needs to go though. This puppy needs to find a home. This is not this puppy's home. I can't, I just can't. I'm not there. I can't do it. I can't do it again. I've, I've been overwhelmed for many years with rescue animals and I just can't. I got the puppy all of his treats. I got the puppy, puppy food. And uh, I, like I said, I dipped the puppy and all the fleas and the ticks are dead when I got home tonight the ticks basically just fell off they were all dead I just kind of plucked them away without having to harm the puppy anymore it is storming tonight and I'm so grateful that this puppy is not out in the woods during a thunder and lightning rainstorm that would be terrifying especially now that he would be alone because his brother died in the road this morning um, that would have to be 
so terrifying for him all by himself with nobody. Um, so I'm grateful that he's here for that, definitely. But he cannot live here. Uh, I never ask for anything from anybody. Uh, I have no reason to. I wouldn't. I mean, like, if I got kicked out of the house and we lost the house, I wouldn't ask for help. But this isn't for me. This is for the puppy. So I'm going to put a link to the PayPal account that we've used for years, the verified PayPal account, in the description. And I understand not everybody can afford to help out, and some people just don't give two shits about a dog. And there's different reasons why people don't help. Um, some people just can't squeeze it out of their income, and I understand that because that's the way we are. We just can't squeeze it out. Uh, but I'm going to put the link in the description, and if you want to donate five or ten bucks uh, to help with the worming, and if I've got the puppy come Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to take the puppy up to my vet and uh, have him examined, checked out, make sure everything's good to go. I'm going to go to Tractor Supply this week, and if I've still got him, and I'm going to try to get him uh, his shots. You can get like a seven in one, I think it's called, or 13 in one, whatever it is. They know what it is up there. I used to give it to my puppies whenever my dogs would have them or if I'd get a rescue animal in and I'd have to give it the shots. So it's cheaper when you do it yourself. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I don't have the finances to do it. And as long as I've got what I need for this puppy, he can stay for, like I say, about a week or two, but no more. So uh, anybody that wants to donate, would be greatly appreciated and if you do through the PayPal account just the, the place where you can put a note just put puppy or something so that I know you know and who it's from because not you know your email's not always very descriptive and I'll know who to thank for it uh, if you don't want your name mentioned then just, then just say and I won't include you but I am going to thank everybody who does help me out with this puppy because this puppy would greatly appreciate it after what he's been through abandoned and then his brother dying in the road. It's just so sad. I'm trying not to cry. It's so sad to me. So, um, here's his new harness. He doesn't like it, but it was only a dollar and it was a large and I know it'll fit him for now, but he's going to need a double X large here soon. I can already see it. He's a gorgeous thing. Mm -hmm. He is so sweet, but he's very young. Uh, thanks for stopping by and listening to my shit. Hit the red button below and hang out with me some more, and everyone have a really good night. Bye.